What's going on guys? So Apple just recently released iOS 18.0 developers beta. They also released macOS Sequoia developers beta 15.0. One of the cool features that is featured within this beta is iPhone mirroring. And so essentially what this allows you to do is to connect your iPhone directly to your computer and you can access your iPhone as if you're utilizing your iPhone. It's different than just projecting your iPhone. You actually use your mouse and you can interact with your iPhone. So one of the cool things I wanted to kind of check out was to see whether or not some of the apps that I would run on iPhone will actually be useful running them via the iPhone mirror app. So what I have here is the red control app. Now what the red control app allows you to do is to control a DSM C3 camera, which is pretty cool. So as you can see, I'm not only just monitoring the camera, I can actually interact with it. So I can, I can come in here, I can change settings. If I want to, I can trigger a recording, which is pretty cool and so you have complete control of your red camera now this may or may not be extremely useful to some people for instance if you own more than one DSM C3 camera by red you may benefit by utilizing the red control pro app which is a $499 basically $500 app this app allows you to control multiple cameras. There are a lot of tutorials out online that explains this. This currently isn't my workflow. The image that you're seeing right now is coming from a Komodo X. I just own one Komodo X. So purchasing the $500 Red Control Pro app, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So this is a good workaround. So let me back up a little bit and explain how all this is working, right? So in order to utilize the Red Control app on your iPhone or iOS device, you must first connect to the camera's Wi-Fi. So the camera has built-in Wi-Fi. If you're doing this workflow, you also have to connect your computer to the camera's Wi-Fi. And once you've done that, then you'll be able to utilize this. So this computer actually still has internet access because I'm also tethered via ethernet. So if you look up here, you'll see that my Wi-Fi isn't available. It shows that I'm connected to the uh, Komodo's Wi-Fi. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I, I think it's, it's pretty useful. You can literally come in here and do a lot of things. Now, in terms of like monitoring your your image, I don't I don't think that this is uh, a good use case for this. What you kind of can do is you can come in here, you can change some of your settings, you can trigger a recording. If you're a person that does live streaming, you may find this helpful, right? So you might come in and you might have this over, this box pulled up and then you may have whatever type of streaming software pulled up and then you can kind of check to see that you're in focus. In terms of being on set, I don't know if this is even practical. If you're actually holding your physical iPhone, you can literally turn it to like landscape mode and then you're able to view this image much larger, essentially the, the, the size of your, your iPhone screen, 6.5 inches or whatever uh, the iPhone screen size is that you're working with. And so that's a much more useful image. So yeah. So this is a, a quick check-in to talk about, once again, iOS 18.0 developer beta, as well as Mac OS Sequoia developer beta 15.0. Peace.